Hey. It's really windy today, so like if you hear these like weird like howling noises, then that's what it is. Like you can see on like the I'm pointing at it. You see on the little thingy just how windy it is and like these things and like this tree up here. It's not a palm tree, it's just an ug tree. Ugly. But um, you know, these are like blowing fully sideways today. And I'm always terrified that they're gonna hit my car. But they don't so far, so that's good. Yeah, so, how are you today? Good. I hope you had a good weekend. I hope you had a good Friday the 13th. I know I did. And, uh, yeah. So, my big dilemma at the moment is that I really want to get my ear pierced. Like, I've had the bottoms pierced two times and it's mainly because I had them done and I'm really bad with pain <laughs> but I love the look of earrings and so I had them done and then I didn't put them in for a while because the ones I always wore like fell in the dirt and I didn't have any like antiseptic to like clean them and so I didn't put them back in and so I didn't put any back in and then the next time I tried to put anything in my ear it just hurt a lot and so when I went on holiday to Canada last year my best friend got me my ears pierced for a birthday present but I felt really bad because I'm such a wimp that I like was sitting in the chair crying and it was like at a tattoo parlor so I just looked like the biggest wimp because I'd just gotten six tattoos so what's up with the fear and I didn't cry once during the tattoos but during the piercing, I'm like sitting there like, oh, don't touch me. Ah. But I'm like, no, I have to do it. So I like, ignore my cries of pain. And I got them done. And like, I don't know if you can see the hole. It's not really even a hole anymore. It's just a dimple in my cheek. Sorry if that was really loud, by the way. And um, did I say cheek? Dimple in my ear. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at this piercing I have here for my ears, right? But, um, yeah, no, so I had the top of my ear done once upon a time, except I think it was on this side, and it they didn't teach me how to take it out, and so it was stuck in there for the longest time, and I was like, it kept going crusty, and it never really healed for like a year, and like, I think it's probably because I kept wiggling it, because I thought that like, you were supposed to, but then I found out that you're not. But I tried to get that one out with bolt cutters, like the big length of your arm type bolt cutters, and like sat there, and I was like, hey, and, like pulling on the, you can't see my hand, I was like, hey, pulling on the bolt cutters, trying to cut it off, and that didn't work. It left a nice dent in it though, and I'm like, I've still got the piercing in like a baggie in my side table, and you can see like the dent cut out of it from the bolt cutters. And um, I went and got it professionally removed, and it was just kind of like reverse pliers, and just kind of like opened it up, got the little ball off. And I'd been sitting there trying to twist the ball bearing, like thinking that would get it off, but apparently not. But, you yeah, know, I think that I, I just did that badly. Like, I kept moving it, I kept picking at it and scratching it, like, every day. I didn't really clean it. And so, yeah, at the moment, I really want to get my ears redone. And I forgot to mention why I don't have them pierced right now. Sorry. Sorry, I'm everywhere today. Uh, when I took the barbells out of these ones that I got done uh, in Canada, I tried to put an earring inside it, and it went up inside the like meat of my ear and scratched around a bunch, and I'm afraid of pain. So I was like, no! Ew, it hurts too much! I can't do it! And so I was like freaking out, and then I was just like, nope, I just won't have my ears pierced. And I have so many pairs of earrings that are really cool. Like, I have spiral snakes. I have, like, these glacier turtles and everything. They're so cool and they're so pretty. And I always see earrings and want to buy them. So I need to get it redone. So these are a definite. Except I kind of want to get it done with the gun. Like, I know the gun's apparently worse for your ear. But I can deal with that because when I got it done with, like, the pin like through the tubey thing that left like the big barbell and that just kept getting caught on everything whereas with the gun it's just like and it's, it doesn't really get caught on anything because it's a tiny little stud but 
at the same time as getting that done, I want to get either like this kind of thing done, like on top of my ear. This one's a little clippy thingy, just to make you wonder, like, why does she want one if she's got one? But, um, yeah, no, I either want that or I want like an industrial. Because I've always liked the look of industrials, but I've always thought maybe I'm too much of a pansy to have it. But I want to get it done anyway. And because my hair is always parted on this side, like even when it gets long, it's going to be parted on this side. And I usually have it tucked behind this ear, so it's the best ear to have it on. So I don't really want to have a helix and an industrial. So I'm trying to figure out which one, and really difficult like I'm thinking I'm leaning towards the industrial but I'm terrified so if like just leave a comment or talk to me directly if you know me and say which one you think would look best and I'll probably get that done but yeah I'm excited and scared all at the same time and I if I get it done I'll probably I either get it done just at like Essential Beauty because it's like 20 bucks and it's like a place where they have professional piercers and stuff or I'll go to a tattoo parlor and get it done at the same time as I get like a miniature tattoo but I'm scared of spending the money because I want to get on like the palm of my hand here opposite palm, back of my hand um, like here-ish you can't see anything can you here-ish I want to get the number three it's a tattoo that Johnny Depp has, and I've wanted it for as long as I can remember liking Johnny Depp. I always, like, redraw it on my hand, like, pretty much every few days, just so that I can see it there. And, I don't know, I, like, I've always liked the number three. I've always liked three as a magic number. And, um, it's one of, part of my lucky number, which is 237. And so, yeah, I've always drawn it on, and I really want it. And Johnny Depp is my biggest celebrity crush, so I think it'd be a good kind of thing. Because for years, everyone just knew me for liking Johnny Depp and liking Red Bull and bacon. God, imagine in a movie where Johnny Depp dipped bacon in Red Bull. That would be amazing. But um, I have pretty much all of Johnny Depp's movies. Like, I mostly have them on DVD. I've got to continue collecting them on Blu-ray. But other than, like, the Lone Ranger and a couple of ones that are really obscure and I just can't find. I have all of Johnny Depp's movies. I have the TV series that he was in, 21 Jump Street. And I, I just love the man. He's my favorite actor. So, yeah, I think it's a good tattoo to get. And plus, if I get a tattoo soon, I'm going to get a bunch when I'm in Canada on holiday in February because it's cheaper there. And I know that I like the place that they do, like that I'd go. I know that I'd like it because I've already been there before. But yeah, now if I get the three, I will show you. And I'll probably get an industrial piercing at the same time. <laughs> if not, then I'm just going to sit there and wonder about when I should get the piercing. So convince me to get the tattoo. Do it. Convince me. Um... Other than that, I don't have much to talk about other than the fact that I spent yesterday playing Kingdom Hearts 1.5 Final Mix for about nine hours yesterday. Did I already say nine hours? I don't know. But yeah, I played that for a long time yesterday. I've never played it before and everyone's always told me to. And so I finally, like, got it because, like, my partner had, like put it on lay-by at the store and then it came out and they were like hey it's here to pick up so I went and picked it up and then we've been playing it and we spent like a good hour or so just making a gummy ship if you've played it you know what it is if not then it's like a spaceship that you go from planet to planet in and you, you make it yourself and so you can make it as tank as you want and because I did it for so long and I did it pretty much until it, I went to bed I had dreams all night of making gummy ships, and so I just got in my head, and so I went like six hours just going, I should put the rocket here, and I should put the, the, the spare tire that spins here, and yeah, so that was a really horrible night's sleep, but I dreamt up some pretty cool gummy ideas, so I'm looking forward to going home and playing that today. What did you do over the weekend? Tell me. I like to hear what people do, and... I'm gonna go now, so have a good day. Bye.